Hey everyone. So I had some really cool test results the other day. I wanted to share if I can find them. I don't know if they're in this notebook. Let me just flip through it. You'll be able to find it faster. I thought I had it highlighted. That wasn't it though. Let's see. Uh, where could it be? Where could it be? January 2013. Nope, that's not it. At least I dated some of it though. I thought it was towards the middle, but I'm not seeing it in here. Maybe it's in my other notebook. No, it's not in this notebook either. Okay. Uh, no, that's my steam resonator stuff. Is it, mm, no, that's not it either. And I know it's not in that one. Well, lesson learned. I guess I'm gonna have to do it over again. So, in order to avoid mistakes like that, if you're doing Stanmeyer research, or really any kind of research, you need to get a proper lab notebook. Um, once I got this, probably two years ago, it's helped me tremendously just to organize and be able to find things quicker and not have lost information or specifications that I uh, have to start all over with. So got tape on there because my phone number's on it, but it's made by a company called Vela, V-E-L-A, and it's really nice because it's grid and then ruled alternating pages. On top of that, in the front, you have a user index where everything's numbered, and the pages are also numbered. You can see page four and everything's dated. So I printed this off, Laboratory Notebook Guidelines. You can find them online, they're all pretty much the same. Um, I'm not doing everything in here, which I should be doing. So I still got some work to do to make it better. And this is a little messy, but for the most part, this has helped me more than anything as far as keeping records and not taking steps backwards because I've lost information. I haven't done that since I got this notebook. So if I'm looking, say, for testing between the 20 and 30 kilohertz, I was getting these oscillations. That's on page 6. And I can just go to page 6 and see there's a scope shot of my waveform. And here's the test record, initial observations and all the changes that I did during those tests. And I noted every single change made, and then observations, and then more testing after that. You can see the testing continues there. And then on other pages, you know, fix that. It says in the guidelines to permanently affix them, and unfortunately that tape's all nasty. And it doesn't stick really well to some of the pages. So here, I, I had too many of them, but I wanted to make sure I got them all in here. So I just taped them in that way. But, yeah, for the most part, this is what you want to have. This will make it a lot easier to keep track of everything. And now, again, like I said, if I want to go to Stan's original VIC specs and go to page one and see his original specs and then calculations. So, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Get a nice lab notebook. Take care, guys.